Hollywood only has a few names that shine as brightly as Zoe Saldana. Her acting career is a tribute to her remarkable success. While actresses like Angelina Jolie, Scarlett Johansson, Jennifer Lawrence, Emily Blunt, and Zendaya often steal the spotlight, I find myself wondering why Zoe Saldana doesn't receive the same level of hype and recognition. After all, she's the star of the three highest grossing movies ever. Talk about flex. There was just a lot of politics that you would have had to navigate. I just felt really lost and very small in that big machine. How difficult it was to get there, I don't ever want to go back. Early beginnings. Before her meteoric rise in the entertainment industry, her story began with humble roots. Her passion for performance ignited at a young age, leading her to enroll in dance classes and theater programs. These formative years laid the foundation for her remarkable future in acting. And despite facing financial challenges, her determination remained stable. Zoe's breakthrough came with her role in the dance film Center Stage in 2000. This early success showcased not only her acting abilities, but also her talent as a dancer. And the role served as a stepping stone, opening doors to more prominent opportunities. A cosmic chameleon transforming into characters. Zoe isn't just an actress, she's a specialist of character alchemy. Whether it's the fierce Natiri from Avatar, the witty Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy, and let's not forget her iconic stint as Uhura in Star Trek, where she beams up her charisma and takes the starship to a whole new level. And you know it's magic when she blends action-packed scenes with heartfelt emotions that hit you right in the feels. Unveiling Pandora's Secrets, Avatar. Avatar, the cinematic marvel that introduced us to the mystical world of Pandora, marked a pivotal moment in Zoe's career. Beyond the mesmerizing blue exterior, Zoe's portrayal of Natiri goes beyond superficiality. It's like she sprinkled stardust on herself to become the enigmatic Navi warrior princess. And it's this mix of visual marvel and emotional depth that resonated with audiences, contributing to the film's unprecedented success. Galactic Charisma, Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, I had I had green for like a month after we stopped shooting. I'm like sitting and like vacationing, and I go, "What is Zoe?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> In Guardians of the Galaxy, Zoe embodies the fierce yet vulnerable Gamora, and here's where the magic intensifies. Ever wondered how she managed to grace the silver screen of three of the highest-grossing movies in history? Picture this, a character that's part assassin, part survivor, and all kinds of amazing. That's Gamora. And Zoe's portrayal is like a jolt of energy injected straight into the heart of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But why did Zoe's Gamora skyrocket to success? First, it's all about timing. Zoe's entry into these iconic movies aligned with a perfect cosmic moment. Guardians of the Galaxy hit theaters when the world was craving a fresh take on the superhero genre, and her portrayal of Gamora added a layer of complexity that we didn't see coming. It's all in the way that she transforms the character from a two-dimensional comic book figure into a multi-layered, relatable soul. Gamora isn't just about punches and kicks. She's a tapestry of emotions, and Zoe weaves them flawlessly. Then comes the power of the franchise. Being part of legendary franchises like Guardians of the Galaxy and Avatar doesn't just skyrocket your career. It launches you into the pop culture stratosphere. Zoe's characters became integral to these universes, not just another face in the crowd. In a galaxy where blockbusters come and go, she managed to not only secure a seat at the table, but carve her name among the stars. Boldly venturing. Star Trek. You know what I liked about it was um, the fact that, yeah, you know, they're, they're getting chased and they're getting shot at and they might die at any moment, but there's levity. Life is still happening while mm -hmm. it's about to end, you know? Zoe is taking us to the final frontier in Star Trek. Stepping into the legendary shoes of Uhura in the Star Trek reboot, she adds her unique flair to an iconic character. While her impressive presence in franchises like Guardians of the Galaxy and Avatar had earned her recognition, her path to the USS Enterprise was uniquely orchestrated by none other than the visionary director, James Cameron. Back in the early 2000s, Star Trek was kind of in a tough spot. The TV show Enterprise got cancelled, and not many people were super excited about the series. But James Cameron, who directed movies with lots of cool sci-fi goodies, saw something special in it. He thought Star Trek was a big deal, even if it was taking a break. 
At the same time, another director named J.J. Abrams was picking actors for a new version of Star Trek. He wanted fresh faces to bring energy to the classic roles. One of these roles was Lieutenant Uhura, a character that was first played by Nichelle Nichols. Abrams thought that Zoe would be perfect for this important character, but there was a tiny problem. How to get in touch with her and let her know about the role? This is where James Cameron steps in. He was working on the movie Avatar, and lots of directors were visiting the set, and Abrams was one of them. And Cameron had a plan to connect Zoe with the Star Trek role. When Abrams visited the Avatar set, he told her about the role. She was a bit surprised because her team hadn't even talked to her about it yet. And she didn't fully understand what was happening behind the scenes, but this was the start of her journey to Star Trek. Even though she wasn't familiar with the show, she brought a new energy to the character that fans loved. So thanks to a bit of movie magic and the help of people like James Cameron, Zoe became part of the Star Trek universe. It's a reminder that sometimes in the world of movies, good things happen when talented people come together at just the right time. The Secret Sauce, Zoe Saldana's Unstoppable Success. Zoe's ascendancy is not a result of mere luck, but a harmonious blend of factors. Her undeniable talent, honed by dedication and passion, is the driving force behind her success. By immersing herself in each character, she transcends the boundaries of acting, creating art that resonates deeply with audiences. Her performances are not mere portrayals. They're transformative experiences that leave an indelible mark. But Zoe is more than that. By painting herself green to breathe life into Gamora, or embracing blue to become Natiri, she questions if she's truly destined to represent roles brimming with strength and character. And she does. Zoe said, They always tell me to take on these tough characters, but I don't see them that way. Everything was dead on Gamora's planet. She grew up with a father who treated her harshly, and I never saw her as a strong person. Her cruelty to her little sister was a survival strategy, a reflection of her brokenness. Yet that's where I saw her humanity, she mused. And teaming up with the star of Eyes Wide Shut opened a door to growth and enlightenment in behind-the-scenes endeavors for Zoe. For the hard-working 45-year-old American actress, challenges are second nature. She's now immersing herself in intense Spanish language practice, and not merely due to her Latin origins. What's the reason? An upcoming project named Emilia Perez, directed by Jacques Oriard, where she shares the screen with Selena Gomez and Carla Sofia Gascon. Saldana was quoted saying, The film unfolds in Mexico, and I'm playing a character rooted there. So I'm delving into dialects and embracing my Spanish with more enthusiasm than ever before. I'm truly dedicating myself to the practice, she shared. Zoe Saldana's journey through self-doubt. There was always that fear, like if I say yes, will I not be considered for other parts with other directors? In a candid revelation, Zoe exposes the inner struggles she confronted when considering the lead role in Taylor Sheridan's groundbreaking TV series, Special Ops Lioness. Her initial hesitation stemmed from the challenges posed by her ADD and dyslexia, which made mastering dialogue a daunting task. Yet fate had other plans. The star who adorned the Avatar, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Star Trek franchises surprisingly turned down Taylor Sheridan's offer to lead his new series. She was quoted saying this, Learning lines was always intimidating for me due to my ADD and dyslexia. I never imagined I'd be part of projects where dialogue and writing hold paramount importance, she confessed in a pre-actor strike interview. She was drawn to action-packed genres due to their alignment with her short attention span. However, fate orchestrated a different course. Sheridan reached out, crafting a character with Zoe in mind. The script impressed her and she decided to embrace the role. Yet, doubts lingered, leading her to walk away momentarily. And during her stint in Italy, filming the limited series From Scratch, the persistent thought of Sheridan's offer resurfaced. Prompted by her husband's encouragement, Zoe reached out to Sheridan once more. The response was immediate, and she reflected on the director's discerning approach. He said, I'm waiting on you. The script is still here, and we haven't done anything with it. Please say yes. And I did, Zoe recounted. As we traverse the galaxies of her filmography, one fact becomes undeniably clear. Her success isn't coincidental. She has fought and battled her way through her inner demons to become a successful actress. 
Her journey from mystical worlds to cosmic battles is a testament to her extraordinary talent, and her ability to inhabit characters coupled with her commitment to authenticity has left an indelible mark on cinema. As we're surprised by Natiri's grace, amused by Gamora's wit, or inspired by Uhura's resolve, we are witnessing the brilliance of an actress who has transcended earthly limits and truly reached for the stars. And what actor would you like to see next? Thanks everyone for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified on upcoming videos. See you soon!